from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. A partnership between Unquim Platinum, Zajin Mining Group, and Sani Southern Africa has resulted in six women from rural Rumpopo being provided basic excavator operating skills. The initiative is part of all three companies' corporate social investment drive and their efforts to empower women during Women's Month. Engineering news journalist Donna Slater reported that the six women embarked on a week-long training program provided by two instructors, which involved theory and was followed by them physically operating a Sani excavator at the company's Boxburg depot. Sani Southern Africa General Manager Samuel Zhang spoke to Donna about the original equipment manufacturer's parts in the initiative. Zijing and Enkui Mining is our customer and uh, they use our machinery in Haratau uh, projects. They find us, they say, uh, we want to do something to contribute to the social uh, uh, development uh, for the community. And uh, we, are, uh, we want to bring six ladies from the community and uh, give them training. Would you like to participate? And we think this is a very good idea. So uh, this, is what, this is how it happened. Basically, this is an uh, entry uh, level uh, uh, excavator training. Uh, but the interesting part is that uh, all of the students are uh, ladies from the communities and they haven't uh, driven excavator before, so it's a completely zero experience. Uh, in order to guarantee the quality of this the training program, we interviewed a lot of um, uh, trainers and eventually we decided two uh, trainers. You know, normally uh, it's one trainer teaching 10 students in a class. Uh, but for this training, uh, we, uh, we arranged the two trainers uh, to teach six ladies. Uh, and uh, another interesting part is that in order to guarantee the quality of the training to create a very safe, uh, very clean, comfortable environment for the ladies, uh, we believe that it's, it's going to give them more confidence. So we have allocated a brand new SY365, which is a 36 ton excavator for the, uh, for the ladies to, to learn. And uh, basically this the training uh, uh, include several parts. Uh, the first one, uh, we teach them the basic structure and the working functions of the machine. And the second thing is the theory and the practical training. So uh, we want to make sure each of the ladies will be given a lot of time uh, to practice the machines. What they are doing is actually uh, much better than I had uh, anticipated. I thought maybe they are going to be uh, uh, overwhelmed by this machine because this is a massive machine. Uh, even for me, uh, uh, the first time, it could be very daunting. Uh, but uh, uh, as far as I can see, uh, they are doing very well. Today is only the second day they are in the training program. Yesterday, I, I can see they are still having a lot of uh, difficulties uh, controlling the machine. Uh, but uh, today, uh, obviously, they are uh, controlling the machine with confidence uh, and their movement uh, are much more consistent and much more smooth. I think our customer, uh, Zijing Enkui Platinum Mining, what they are doing this time for the community is something that all the other mining companies should do. And as the OEM supplier, we, Sani, definitely would like to contribute and working with our partners to do our part in uh, building the social development. My name is Shalyn Gujarada, and I'm the spokesperson for the Department of Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities, located in Pretoria. So how we're involved in this program, particularly is we, during the month of Women's Month in August, you know, the country looks at women's economic empowerment as a key growth vector for the country as a whole. So our position is that we cannot have economic inclusive development in the country if you can have women economic empowerment. So particularly like sectors like mining, commercial farming, etc., that are stereotypically under the purview of men. So sectors that have been difficult to access for women, mining in particular in which not even 20% of senior management, top management and skilled artisans, artisans are women. We support any program like this that seeks to sort of uh, attract employ, promote, develop women within these sectors. So our focus during this month is women's economic empowerment and part of that would be women's entry and women's increased participation in sectors like the mining sector which contributes so much to the economy 
but still fall behind in terms of women participation and equality for women who face a number of barriers within the sector. My name is Shidupaza Sipugu and I'm the finance manager for Unqua Platinum South Africa. So Unqua Platinum and Zuzhen um, Mining Group is quite involved and believes in empowering of young women. So this program actually we've selected six women from the community to actually um, do it as an upskilling program. So how Unqua Platinum has actually used it in terms of our SLP, we have invested over 14.5 million around the community in terms of adult-based um, learning, learnerships and also bursaries. So it's also part of our social responsibility to ensure that we empower the people around the community where we operate. So we, we chose Sunny in terms of the credibility of the machines that they have and also in terms of how they also wanted to have awareness to, in terms of their machineries. You understand that we have other competitions within South African uh, market, so it was a good opportunity for us in order to partner with them. Unqua Platinum believes in empowering women, and that is why we, we would see that there's about two of us that are also in senior management role. So the reason that the, the company believes in that is that we want to, or they want to also eradicate poverty within South Africa and also by the same way working together with the government to ensure transformation and also gender equality within the community. That's Kramer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.